I have been asked what my least favorite fragrances in my collection are, and today I'm going to give you the top five worst smelling fragrances in my collection. Obviously, these are opinionated. I do not mean to offend anyone, and I do not mean to offend any perfumers that made these fragrances because they do serve a purpose. But if I'm going to review these in the future, I will give them a fair chance. So let's start it off with the first fragrance. Some of you may know this fragrance already because I featured it in a short. What is my least favorite fragrance in my entire collection? Let's start it off strong. Yup Om. This is my least favorite fragrance in my entire collection. This means a lot because this fragrance to me just smells horribly synthetic, headache inducing, almost sickingly. With Yup Om, you're getting vanilla, cinnamon, floral, heliotrope notes. To me, it smells more like lavender. In this fragrance, there's pretty much every single note that you could ever picture being put into a fragrance combined into one. And that's what you're getting here. I don't know what it is with this fragrance. I know a lot of people do like this fragrance and I know older formulations do smell better better than whatever synthetic mess we are getting now, but whatever it is, Yup Om just is horrible on me. Now I must admit, although this fragrance does smell horrible, it does get me insane compliments. Whenever I wear this stuff, it gets me compliments. I don't know what it is. To me, as a fragrance critic or reviewer, I see this as what it is and I do not like it at all and that's why I never wear it. That's why you can tell that the juice level has not dropped on here at all because I never wear this stuff anymore. Every single time I put this on, I have gone like this. I start sneezing, I start like feeling ill. I know a lot of people agree with me when it comes to Yup Om. This is heavily liked and heavily disliked in this community. Some people love it, and if you do, by all means, love this, do not listen to what I say, but this is number one that I wanna feature in my least favorite fragrances. Wear it if you like, that's just my opinion. Let's move on to the second one. So with number two, I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way because Ross from TLTG Reviews completely agrees with me when I say that Davidoff Cool Water Oceanic Edition is a horrible release and I don't mean that lightly. I don't know how else to put it. To me it just smells like I have it actually on my arm here and I'm gonna scrub it off after but it just smells like sweaty skin mixed with body odor in aquatic nature. There is a kind of salty undertone to this fragrance. It could be like driftwood, some woody base, and some citrus kind of aquatic that's giving it this kind of B.O., like salty B.O. kind of smell to it that just smells like horrible off of at least my skin. I know a lot of other people do agree with me. I do think that this was probably one of the worst releases in the Davidoff line. I don't even know why they released this. It just smells half baked like there's not a lot going on here it just smells like they put like salty aquatics sour citrus in here that's making it smell very bad off the skin it's like generic mixed with bo if that makes sense it smells like you're trying to cover up the fact that you smell bad that's what davidoff cool water oceanic edition smells like when i first smelt this fragrance i bought the women's edition by accident i opened it up i smelled it and i was like what is this i looked at the box i googled it looked online and I, i'm like oh it's the women's edition I went back in, I bought the men's Oceanic Edition, and surprise, surprise, I was not differed in opinion. And if you love this, by all means, no disrespect to the perfumers, no disrespect to you if you like this, but by far, in my opinion, this is the worst Davidoff Cool Water Flanker. And surprisingly, this is their newest release. This is a 2023 release. I was expecting more. I will never spray that again. <laughs> So this next fragrance, I'm probably gonna catch some left and right hooks because I know a lot of people love this fragrance. That's fine. If you like this fragrance, there's nothing wrong with that. Like what you like, do not hear what I have to say and take that as fact because this is all opinionated. Now the next fragrance that I'm going to feature that I do not like at all is Dior Fahrenheit. I am a big fan of old school smelling scents, but there's something in here that makes me just feel ill. When it comes to reviewing this fragrance, no matter if I like this fragrance or not, when I review this fragrance. I will review it non-biasedly, but to my note and to my opinion, at least, I just do not like this fragrance at all. And that's why I sprayed it on my right hand. My goodness, it just... <sighs> okay, so... <laughs> I'm so sorry if you like this fragrance, but so what I get a lot of is leather, violet leaf, some nutmeg, citrus, all that combines together to give this gasoline-y type smell. Some people have said that it does not smell like gasoline off their skin, and that's fine. Maybe you have a different formulation, maybe you have a different skin chemistry, maybe it's a skin chemistry thing off of my skin at least, and to my perception, Dior Fahrenheit just smells like straight up diesel gasoline. It smells like I'm going to the pump, I'm pumping up my truck, and I just go, 
and it just makes me like feel lightheaded every time I smell this fragrance. In my opinion, honestly, a transitional fragrance from winter to spring, it actually transitions you quite well if you do like this fragrance. I get it. It's a very masculine smelling old school fragrance that I can understand why people like, but on my skin, into my own personal perception, I don't like it at all. Please don't dislike this video just because I mentioned this fragrance. It's kind of like the automotive worker. Like when I smell this fragrance, I picture myself back in like grade 10. When I was working on cars for automotive class throughout high school, this reminds me of working on cars. This is like the, the blue collar worker or the hardworking masculine man who works with his hands. This is what this fragrance smells like to me as a fragrance and something I'm gonna spray on myself to enhance my appearance. This does not match me. So because of that, Dior Fahrenheit does not get a pass from me, but I will give this a fair review when I do actually review this fragrance in the future. Okay, so the next fragrance on the list is by far the worst smelling fragrance, and a lot of people do agree with me, that is Secretions Magnifique by Etat Libre de L'Orange. If I'm talking about worst smelling fragrances in my entire collection, this is by far a chart topper. Like everything else that I've mentioned in this list and I'm going to mention, this is a mile ahead, but everyone knows that this fragrance smells bad. What does this fragrance smell like? Well, it's supposed to smell like magnificent secretions from a man. I think that's what it's supposed to smell like. It also smells like a tinge of blood being kind of iron smelling, like metallic. Picture a metallic citrus note with a milky undertone. This is what this fragrance smells like. Now, admittedly, when I first smelt this fragrance, I wasn't, oh my goodness, it's horrible, but I was expecting it to be a lot worse smelling than it actually is. It's not horrible, like 10 out of 10 smelling bad. Like it's not the worst smell I've ever smelt in my life, but this is definitely up there. This is definitely up there in the scent profiles that I would say that make me feel ill and sick when smelling. This smells like blood sweat and tears. That's pretty much what it smells like to me. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You're probably wondering why did I buy this fragrance? Pretty much the novelty. Like, I wanted to buy the worst smelling fragrance of all time. I googled constantly. I'm like, what is the worst smelling fragrance of all time that I can get my friends to smell and make them never want to smell fragrances ever again? If you're gatekeeping, just say you sprayed on Secretions Magnifique and they're gonna be constantly looking, where can I buy this fragrance? Where can I buy this? And they're gonna buy it and smell this and never want to smell a fragrance again. This is the gatekeeping king when it comes to fragrances. Just say you bought this. If I'm gonna smell a fragrance, usually it grows on me. This one grew on me in the fact that I dislike it every time I spray it even more. No, I would not recommend this one, but if you do want to gatekeep your fragrances and tell your friends this is what you're wearing, maybe you can buy this one or for the novelty of it, just buy your friends this for a Christmas gift or a birthday present. Number five of the worst smelling fragrances in my collection. This is going to upset a lot of people, but I gotta be honest with with you is Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules. This is the fifth worst smelling fragrance in my collection. So when I spray this on my skin and when I spray it on other people's skin and ask them what it smells like, they tell me it smells like burning plastic or just like a plasticky woody smell. What a lot of fragrance influencers or YouTubers have told you is that this smells like your enhanced skin chemistry, that it basically is something that you put on first and you can spray on other fragrances and it's going to enhance the scent profile because really all this is is Molecule 01 which is basically Isoe Super which is a woody kind of ambery musky base that kind of is supposed to accentuate everything in the realm of perfumery. If you were to spray this by itself which some people do recommend by the way some youtubers do recommend to spray this by itself to enhance your own skin chemistry to myself and to others this just smells absolutely horrible. I also must say that this is probably the most expensive fragrance in this entire video because this is actually seen as a niche fragrance and it's fetching niche prices. I don't think it's worthy of that. And in fact, if you are to spray this by itself, I think that majority, probably 90% of people are going to be disappointed. It could just be a skin chemistry thing. I don't know. But if you are to blind buy Molecule 01, just understand that your reaction could be similar to mine. Now, I have been trying to film a video for this fragrance for a long time, testing it, seeing if all the rumors are true or it's just 
paid hype, but I just cannot get past the smell of this fragrance. Every time I spray it underneath a fragrance, it just gives that smell to it and just almost smells like I'm layering two fragrances together, a good fragrance and something shitty. Take that as you will. If you do like this and you do think that this enhances your fragrance, by all means, Isoe Super could enhance your fragrance. Molecule one to me is definitely an L. I'm gonna test with that more. It could grow on me over time if it does help the performance of my other fragrances. But to me, those are the five least favorite fragrances that I have in my entire collection. So if you liked this video and if you liked the honesty that I'm giving here, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because I give honest fragrance content dedicated towards beginners of the hobby and more advanced. And also check out this video right here where I talk about some fragrances that you may be wondering about and I think that you're going to like. So thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.